success stories in the NBA after spending six years in the CBA. He's found a home behind the three-point line from the Washington Bullets, Tim Langler. He's tied it in. And on the right, Tim Legler of the Washington Bullets, who leads the NBA with a, nearly a 52 percent. That's amazing, Danny. A yeah, three-point percentage. Yeah, he's been a huge Our boost for the Washington Bullets Sorry. coming off the bench, and particularly hitting the threes. So they're ready to go. A little tension in these people as well, I'm sure. You've been there. No question. Legler's had some experience, though. He won the three-point shoot out of the CBA. And he's shooting for his new baby, who was induced on February 1st. He wanted me to be sure to say hi to Jennifer and Lauren at home, who couldn't be here. But well, McLeod, he said he wanted to really take his time, because earlier, when he was working out at it, that he took too much time, and he wanted to make sure that at the end of his racks, he had time to go. Legler hits the money ball. That's a big one. Legler's in a great rhythm. McLeod, he needs this when he got the money ball. McLeod in his favorite spot, the wing area is the one he wants to can. Right now, he's not doing so well in that one spot. And this is a big one for him. Oh, yeah. That's six in a row for Legler. Remember the record is 19 by Craig Hodges. Legler is not as comfortable shooting from the left side as he is from the right. So this is not comfortable for him, although he hits the money ball. Legler defeats George McLeod with those of unofficial scores to advance. Perhaps we'll see what the others do, but I'll tell you, 23 points. That's more than anyone got last year in the first round, and Legler hit all five money balls. Well, you know, they said that 15 points in the first round last year was a good round, but now that the line is closer, it makes it a lot easier, doesn't it, Danny? Absolutely, and last year it wasn't indicative in the scores, but I think it will be this year. Legler had two long streaks right there. He had five in a row and then six in a row. So pretty good performance by Legler, and we said $20,000 would come in handy for him if he can win it all, wouldn't it? Oh, absolutely, and he was consistent in every rack. He consistently shot well. There's not a weak spot that he has on the floor, so the, I expect him to do well in the second round. You know, he's a guy that even in the season doesn't shoot a lot of three-pointers, but is deadly from back there. Nice shot, too. Just so rhythmatic. Oh, he's got a beautiful stroke. Off to a good start. That's the one he needed right there. You notice how he shoots on the left side of the racks on the on the corner, and then he moves to the right side of the rack on the wing. So you can tell he's got a routine down. But just check the rhythm out. It's almost if you're counting, you can count the seconds in between each time. It's about one and a half counts between each ball. Hey, Dick, don't think that these guys aren't looking over on the side of the floor, the other guys in the competition, being a little bit intimidated by Legler's hot shooting right now. And they're over there going, oh, no, it could be over, guys. Legler is eight for eight in money ball so far. Can he make it nine? No. But he's got a pretty good total going. Well, he's had a tremendous opportunity coming from the CBA all the years that he's played there. And now, turn up the This is big. Yeah. He has missed a one money ball in two rounds and a total of 22 points for Tim Legler. Huge, huge shooting. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, his teammate, Jawan Howard, is pretty happy. I don't know who's happier. His <laughs> wife at home for that $20,000 inducement or Jawan Howard. That's a major league shopping spree. <laughs> right now, let's go to Cheryl. Tim, calm, cool, collected. I mean, no smiles, no frills. You come out here, you shoot 23 your first round, two off the record. You come out here, you're not feeling any pressure whatsoever. You know, it's funny. I, I felt kind of tight before the competition, but as soon as you put the uni on, everything goes away. You know, it's just you and the rim. So luckily, I had two good rounds. I, you know, hopefully I can have one more good one. All right, keep it going. Thanks. Dick? All right, so Dennis Scott has his work cut out for him. He has the most three-point field goals. And he had a total of 19 points. Legler with 23 points in the first round, two points shy of a record, 22 points in the second round. That's a combined 45. That leads all competitors. Dennis Scott, very consistent thus far, 19 points in the first round, 19 points in the second round. I don't know if 19 points is going to be good enough to win this AT&T shootout. Tim Legler. Trying to follow in the footsteps of Glenn Rice, the 1995 AT&T champion. And we will have a new winner this year.
year. Glenn Rice did not get past the first round, and Tim Legler, who was with his sixth NBA team, played in the CBA, the USBL, the WBL, Alphabet Sauce, you name it. Here's the toy cost. Well, Legler wins the coin toss, Dick, and he elects to shoot first, which I think is great strategy because he's done so well shooting first in the first two rounds. But not only that, doesn't put any pressure on you. You don't have to sit there and watch this guy can all those shots, and, you, and, and your ball gets heavy after you see someone else shooting well. 22 points in the last round, 22 in the first. Pretty consistent. So Tim Legler. You know, the only thing, Reggie, is I think that if I was Dennis Scott, I would have made Legler since he chose to shoot first, shoot on the basket he had the shot on. He allowed to let Legler go ahead and shoot the basket that he's been tearing it up on. That's a very good point. There's no way. you got to always make the guy go the opposite way, huh? Legler in another rhythm. Oh, he finally missed the money ball. Now, this is where the ball start getting a little heavy. Knees start creaking a little bit. He's got it going, three in a row. He hit nine of his first 10 money balls. Not shooting nearly as well as he did the first two rounds, though. Dennis Scott could definitely be in the running here. And Dennis Scott is going to know what he has to do to win. That's the advantage he's going to have. Right, right. I don't know if he can put up a score of 20. I think that might be good enough. Big shot. He's got it. Well, the score of 20 is good, but Dennis Scott ball C2-1 Howard, he is his coach on the sideline. Tim Legler, who was 13 for 15 on the money balls. That's a tremendous achievement. That guy can shoot. I can't believe that guy has well, a the You know what, I'll tell you something else. <laughs> Anybody who's never shot one of these multicolored basketball, it takes, some, it takes some practice because when you hold the ball up over your head, your eyes automatically go up to the different colors. Hey, every NBA player that's watching this game right now, if they ever leave that guy open for a three-pointer, they should be taken right out of the game, Reggie. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> He's got the money ball, but it's too little too late. Tim Legler already celebrating over on the bench. He's going to get $20,000, and he's going to love every penny of it. Oh, that's that was Tom's present for his wife, huh? Yep. Damn. His wife had oh, all the yeah. so that Tim could come here to compete. The baby was born on February 1st. His wife, Jennifer. And how happy is Tim Legler and Jawan Howard, the Washington Bullets duo, as Tim Legler has won the 1996 AT&T shootout. It's so nice. It's apropos. New baby. Wife, Valentine's Day, what a present. 20 grand in my pocket. I'm going home. You know, that's just a lot of pressure <laughs> on Dennis Scott. You know, when a guy goes out and makes 20 and you have to go out there and make 20, that is a lot of pressure in that Danny, competition. Danny, I think the key was what you said earlier. He should have made Lego shoot to the other basket. I think that would have yes. been big. <laughs> All right, Tim Legler is one. Rasheed Wallace at the winning basket in the rookie game. So far, a good day for the Bullets. It has become a reality for Tim Legler of the Washington Bullets. Who would have thought a year ago that this man would be standing as the 1996 AT&T shootout 